Hi everybody, welcome to my vlog. Um, I'm so glad you're here and I hope you stay with me on the journey uh, as I read through this book, An Indigenous People's History of the United States. It's by Roxanne Dunbar Ortiz and she has a couple other authors who helped her write it, Jean Mendoza and Debbie Reese. So I have read about the first 50 pages, just under 50 pages of this you know, 230 page book. So um, I am learning so much and I want to share with you everything that I'm learning, but I, I can't share everything with you, but otherwise you'll probably be bored. But I, um, first of all, I'm noticing that these authors clearly have a purpose in their writing. They want people to understand a history of the United States that we probably were never taught in school. My last history class um, on the United States was my junior year, my U.S. history class. And I really don't remember learning about the indigenous um, people of the, of the New World. I just learned about the European settlement. Um, not that the European settlers were bad, although there were things that they did that, that I consider bad. Um, I mean, I descend from some of those people. So, but it's just interesting to really learn about what happened to the people who, who lived on this land long before it was quote unquote discovered by Europeans. It wasn't discovered by Europeans. It was already inhabited. So I feel like for me, it's important to read this book to change my mindset, to understand um, how people who are indigenous to this world here, the North America, might feel um, having their land been taken from them. I feel the older I get, the more I need to understand history, to understand kind of the journey that we're on as a country and where, you know, to contribute to where I want it to go. So a couple of things I learned that I want to share with you. I have all my notes here. Um, I learned that the words indigenous, Native American, and American Indian are all interchangeable, and depending on what people group you're talking about, any of those terms is okay. Um, I also learned that there's a difference between like First Nation, meaning an indigenous group of people in their nation, uh, and the word tribe. Tribe was often given to the indigenous people, that word, um, by white European settlers. Although indigenous peoples do use the phrase tribal nation. So it, it's confusing all these naming differences. Um, so the word America as well was, was uh, made up by European settlers. So uh, the people who lived here before European settlers had their own names for all the different parts of North America. One of the main things that I learned about, and I know I learned this in history, but was about that idea of the doctrine of discovery. So maybe you guys remember this. I, you probably had it in eighth grade history, but the doctrine of discovery told Europeans that if they landed on a place that had in a new land that was not ever settled by Europeans before, it meant that they could um, claim the land for themselves and call themselves settlers. Um, so they could wipe out the indigenous peoples according to this European idea of the doctrine of discovery, which was actually proposed and, and not just proposed, but um, influenced by the Pope. The Catholic Church was very powerful at the time, especially in Spain. But, but he said that if, if the white settlers landed in a place where there weren't Europeans before, they could claim it for themselves um, and they actually claim it in the name of the Pope. But before that, it was so important for me to learn that this land that we're living on now was inhabited and was developed and um, people had governments, people had, you know, highways and roadways. Um, they had uh, little villages set up. It's not like the land was savage or untamed. It's just that the indigenous people use the land in a different way than the European people ended up using the land and use their land back in the European communities. Um, they used, the, the indigenous people of the North Americas used um, 
community government. They, they didn't domesticate animals. Instead of domesticating animals, they created havens for wild animals that attracted wild animals. So it allowed animals to live in their own habitat. And then it also allowed them a place to hunt when they needed the food. There are all different kinds of people groups, the Pueblo, the Creek, the um, Inuit, all different kinds and all different names that I'm never going to know all of them. But it's important for me to recognize that there were a lot of different people groups here before Europeans came. And Europeans didn't really realize that there had been were thousands of years of development in the North Americas before they even settled. So one last thing I want to say before this vlog ends is that there were four distinct, um, I guess, propellers of the European conquest of North America. And let me see what it was. Oh, first of all, do you remember the word cru the Crusades, that historical movement of um, the Christian church to um, rid the world of Muslims and um, just people who didn't believe in, in Christ or God. And they called themselves crusades. It was religious warfare. And they went through the land just killing people who would not bow down to Christianity. So that propelled them when they landed in North America to wipe out any, any people group who wouldn't pray to God. Well, you know, when the settlers came and the conquerors came and they said, um, profess that God is, you know, and Jesus Christ is your Lord, first of all, the people couldn't understand them. So they, they didn't know what they were being asked to do. So because they couldn't say anything, even if they could, um, who knows, right? But they couldn't say anything, so they were slaughtered. Also, it was a drive for land ownership, which in Europe was, of course, a, a, a means of power. The more land you owned, the more power you had. Whereas the indigenous people, they controlled territories, but they it wasn't like individual land ownership. That was a, 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 a not an, a, a something that, sorry, I'm not speaking well. It wasn't something that indigenous peoples strove to do, to own land. They shared land. They had community land. It wasn't individual. It was community-driven. Also, the idea, similar to the Crusades, was the idea of white supremacy, the belief that anyone who didn't have pale skin was inferior biologically and spiritually, and also the desire for gold. Um, so they were searching for gold, and that brought them here. So I feel like this book is going to be a challenge for me, but I'm so excited to learn. And sorry if I bored you, but I'm really excited to learn about this. I hope you come back to my blog next week. Have a good one.